Hey, this is Hans. Hey, this is Angela. And today we have four varieties of Lay's uh, vertical tube potato chips from Taiwan. I guess that's what you could call them. It I think looks it might be like, cheesy baked potato. Do you think it's cheese or is it butter? It could be either one. Yeah, it's new. So it makes me think like, really, is it, how could it be? How could, how could cheese be new? But it's more like butter than like butter. Like maybe it's, I mean, it's like shimmering. I mean, that that's cheese right there. But it's all drippy. Maybe it's, maybe it's the return of golden cheese. These are Lay's. <laughs> and the, the Doritos were Lay's too, so. I think, either way. So they come in these tubes. So let's try the new unknown, look at that, through, through the airport and everything. There is a perfectly formed chip. Alright. You think? Well, let's turn around. Where does that go? Hmm. Cheese. Yeah? cheese sensation. These remind me of, there used to be these chips in the U.S. here called Tato Skins. And that reminds me of the... Uh, Alright, what do we got next? Let's go with this one. <coughs> this is definitely seaweed flavor. Where does that go? Just the wrap. Yeah, for me, no. Um, for me, I can hear a little bit more. Really? Yeah. I don't know, I think... I'm quite surprised that I'd actually do that. I am too, because you don't generally go for, for sushi nori or anything like that. But honestly, I don't think the potato is a correct application to introduce seaweed to. This one, this one is uh, seaweed sushi. <laughs> All right. I wonder, I wonder how this is gonna be. Is that? Yeah. A little lighter. Yeah, I don't know. It was definitely a lot less seaweedy than the last one. All right, and the last one we have. Chicken. <laughs> got some chicken action right here. And a potato chip. Yeah. Now, potato and chicken, I can see that. You know, I, I mean, honestly, I'd rather, I don't know. It's kind of like, you could have like barbecue sauce, you can have barbecue sauce with booze in it. I'll drink my drink and I'll eat my food. I don't like to play, oh boy, let's like put it together, you know. No, I think, Especially since kids at school do that. Do they? Yeah, actually I saw some kids at our lunch bunch group do that. I saw a kid once when I was growing up. He took all his food on his tray, mixed it all together, and then just like played in it. And then uh, the principal came over and said, All right, now you're going to eat it. And he sat there and made him eat it. Oh! Dirty little cuss. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> This has the kind of chicken flavor I dislike. Yeah. No, okay. but you you it's have to agree with me, dude. If you like it, that's all right. Than yum. These didn't fare as well. Hold your hand out. These didn't do as well through the customs and travel and all that fun stuff as the other ones did. These are just as the picture on the packaging, this is roast chicken flavor. This is like rotisserie chicken. It's got that same kind of taste. But then it's kind of got this like, this kind of fall off at the end that kind of turns into like this rancid butter taste. And I find a lot of instant noodle seasonings will have that. And I just don't like it. 
Honestly, I think the way it works with chips is the same way. Um, yeah, you can just have like this funky fall off at the end that just doesn't taste right. And I'm going with that. Wow, um, yeah, sorry Lays, but I'm trying to think. Did I like any of these? I don't think I like that many. Like, I didn't like the flavor for the most part. You liked every single one! Sorry, I can't remember now. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need to get you some memory pills or something. <laughs> yeah. It's been five minutes. Yeah, um, it's weird. <laughs> um, hey, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I would say out of all of them, my least favorite was the, the just straight up seaweed with the bow on it. I didn't like that. You like that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the sushi one, you decided that it tasted like sushi, but you haven't had sushi in a long time. But I think you were talking about kimbap. Okay. Yeah, but definitely had a seaweed taste to it, but not like violent seaweed. Not like the one that just had seaweed on the picture. And the, we think it's cheese. That one wasn't bad. The first one, the cheese. Yeah. The buttery cheese, the golden cheese, perhaps. Maybe. So, honestly, Pringles, the are these are not. They're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. They're chips. They'll do you if you want a chip. Here's a chip. But I'm just not like super enthusiastic about them. If they had, say, oh I don't know, a a Thai pepper flavor one like the Doritos. Uh, sign me up, I'll buy a case of them. I really liked that, but yeah, I think for me, these are not the way to go. Um, but if you like them, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. I just won't hang out with you, so. <laughs> All right, but if you like them, I'll, I'll hang out with you. Okay, right. good. I just won't eat them with you. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I won't, if you, if you like these, I won't hang out with you while you're eating them because I just don't like them. Honestly, I probably would anyways. I'm just kind of, I guess I'm being a little silly here. But. Anyways, this has been Hans. This has been Andy. And thank you for watching. Enjoy your noodles every day, even though these aren't noodles. Um, I guess you can enjoy chips every day. If you really, yeah. I don't know. Chips are fun. So. All right, have a good one. Bye. Bye.